Oh, so they have different animals here that you can release into the Kong. Are those eels? I have no idea what those are. There's unfortunate little turtles, little baby turtles, some fish there. I don't know what th th those are fish or eels, I'm not sure. Some fish. So these are on birds, you can release the birds. Obviously I'm not pro that. There's a lot of cats here. So these are all animals that you can release into the wild. Sort of. It's not that ethical though. You can feed the birds here. This is a con. I used to live real <laughs> I used to live nearby. So this is a way to make merit. They want me to give them food. Sorry guys. I think you're fed enough. You guys are pretty fat. This one is like, they're asking me for food. Okay, that was very surreal. I didn't feel really comfortable talking because I just kept getting a lot of looks. It was like a mixture of like, okay, there's a foreigner with a camera. A few people were annoyed, so it's just like, I don't know. One person said I couldn't film, but I didn't know if she just didn't want me to film her. So it was just really... I think it was okay because there's other people taking pictures as well. But, you know, I just tried to not be as invasive as possible. This place is very interesting. There's just like so many different shrines and statues and it's very different from a typical Thai Buddhist temple. There's just a lot going on here. So you do have like over there, you know, a typical Buddhist temple, but again, it's mixed with like mysticism and, you know, shrines to people like my neck and that, that mannequin, that random mannequin. And then there's a Hulk here, there's a random statue of a Hulk, so it's just like a lot, there's a lot going on. But, so I'll tell more about the story later, about who she is, but the whole process is really interesting because I, there's someone praying there and I don't want to interrupt them. The whole process was really interesting because you just, you can choose any offerings you want, like you can buy dresses for her or for the babies, and it's really interesting that they chose like, okay, you can buy it for a baby baby or for like a toddler or like an older child, so you can have different clothes that you can choose from. You can buy some food, I think, but it's mostly like clothes, candles, and incense, and for 20 baht I bought incense candle, a candle, um, flower, and then a little piece of gold, which I'll show you here. So what you have to do is first you need to light the candle and the incense, and then you go to the first altar and pray and like, you know, think about what it is that you want and you want to manifest. And then once you're done, you put the candle with the other candles there, and then you put the incense in like the incense area with some sand, and then you put the flower in like the flower area, and then you can go inside with your little, piece of gold and then there's a line and the line you know there's a lot of people there like that's a very busy shrine actually so people are waiting in line to put the gold on the statue you can put it on one of her babies and then just talk to her and say what you want so she's really good at giving you wealth prosperity and also if you want a child or helping you with childbirth so I asked for wealth and prosperity and to help my YouTube channel and I thanked her and I told her that I'm taking video and pictures of her and I am being respectful and also want to like show her to the world and make her famous. So I made sure to be very respectful to her and I also promised to help other people if she helps me out. So I had a good conversation with her and then I put the gold on her. And then it was so weird because I went back to go film like the candles to get some B-roll. And then one of the ladies, there's two ladies there that take, that are very serious about maintaining like the area the main area where the shrine is like there's so there's several areas like the outer part and then you go with the area where you put the candles and the incense and then the actual like statue of my neck is inside and there's two ladies there that take cleaning and taking care of that area very seriously like I showed you footage of one lady just like vacuuming and cleaning and she actually stopped everyone from going in for a while just so she can clean up and she, they really take it seriously. So one of the women, while I was filming the B-roll for the candles, just handed me some money. And I'm just like, okay, why did she just hand me some money? 
so she, there's a guy that just stopped and is staring at me right now so it's really <laughs> he just stopped and like I get so much attention with the camera especially in a, like an area where you're like the, I'm the only foreigner okay so um, yeah she just handed me some money like a hundred baht and I'm like and then she walked away and I'm like what the fuck like what where did this come from so maybe my neck is giving me a sign that she's gonna grant my wish or whatever I'm like okay so I looked around to like try to give the money back to her because maybe she thought I dropped it and she just like she disappeared and then I went over and gave the money to the shrine back to my neck because there's like a little area we can put money in so I'm like okay well someone just gave me this money I'm gonna give it back to you and then as soon as I gave it back that lady that gave it to me appeared and started laughing so I don't know they were just messing with me but I guess in a good way because they obviously have a really good relationship with that ghost because they take they've taken care of her for a long time so I see that as a good sign that I'm gonna have wealth and prosperity and I'll be able to help other people but that was definitely an experience and that's not even all that there is in this particular temple so we're gonna check out because I saw something over there that was really interesting I need to go back soon because I have to work but I, I have a bit of time to film a bit yeah so this place looked interesting There's a lot of cool shrines here so yeah this is typical you you're um you know giving offerings or getting your i think it's just yeah giving offerings to different famous monks so that you can see uh, in a lot of different temples here that's pretty common and obviously you have buddha here but the part that was like catching my attention was like this particular person by the tree i'm not sure who that is it's another spirit you can give offerings to that you can see those offerings of makeup and water i really i like the makeup offerings that's really cute so this is someone who will give you make you beautiful maybe i should give her some offerings to make me beautiful that naga is so cute so these are really interesting because you can you shake this and then one falls out and that will tell you your fortune or you can pick a ball so i'm gonna pick a ball and see what number i get okay i got number seven so i'm gonna go try to find my fortune but this is a shrine for the, a Naga king and queen. I need to look up their story. Obviously, I really resonate with Naga, so this is so cool. I want to give them water. That's why they have the, the waterfall behind them, because they love water. They get super thirsty. That's their favorite thing. So this statue seems to be pretty popular. I'm gonna have someone translate this for me so I know what the deal is. So I am number seven, so this is my prayer. Oh good, they have it in English too. In the state of fortune, according to your previous good deeds, such as staying in the air-conditioned room, what is gainful is easily obtained, but be not greedy. Live your life in righteousness. What has been previously done will produce its fruits. The beloved one will be befriended. After illness, you will be healthy. None can overcome you in accusation. Whoever does good receives good. All right. Prediction sheet for the seventh. All right, thank you. So I shook this one until one fell out. At first, like, they all blew up on me, but I got number 13. So let's see what number 13 is. Prediction sheet the 13th. Long Fang Fufakana, I don't know how to say that. In the time of distressed life, what being either money or gain or honor is desired cannot be on you, such as the trees after the drought be fresh in rainy season be careful and control your mind none can overcome you in accusation the beloved one will be uncertainly befriended the bargain is rather rough beware of either gain or loss happening all right well thank you for that one